We love our series, Changing the Game, and highlights extraordinary women who are making a difference. And at just 18, eight years old, eight years old, not 18, Maya Penn started her clothing and accessory company. It's called Maya's Ideas, and it uses eco-friendly materials. She gave a TED Talk for the first time when she was just 13. At 16, her book, You Got This, was published by Simon & Schuster, a proud part of our parent company. And Maya Penn joins us now. Maya, thank you very much for being here. That's a lot to have done by the age of 23. <laughs> wow, yeah. I mean, geez, where to even begin? Um, how, how has this company, Maya's Ideas, evolved since you were eight? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm really excited to be here. Um, yeah, I started Maya's Ideas when I was eight years old because um, I've always been very passionate about the natural world and environmental science. I grew up a very, very nerdy kid, um, <laughs> but also a very artsy one. I loved all things art and design, including fashion design. And I was doing my own research and realized that there was a need for more sustainable fashion in the world. Um, and so, you know, since I started that company, it's evolved into a global uh, sustainable fashion brand with celebrity clientele. Um, and now I'm also a sustainability consultant as well. Uh, mm. So I consult with uh, Fortune 500 companies, startups, and everything in between on uh, ESG, corporate social responsibility, and just, you know, how we can make a more sustainable and, you know, equitable world. Hmm. Um, what awesome. does ESG stand for? Environmental social governance. Okay. Um, yes. You, you know, it's one thing to describe yourself as nerdy growing up or to be a creative. It's another thing to have people in your family that will lean into that. Yeah. And your mom is here with you today. Yes. And and I, I would like to ask how she has inspired you, but what has her support meant to you while you have been on this journey? I mean, it's meant the world to me because, you know, not every parent when their eight-year-old kid comes up to them and is like, oh, I want to start an eco-friendly fashion company. Not every parent's gonna be like, okay, sure. <laughs> right. Like, what do you need to what do you need to do to figure that out and, and find out how to do that? Um, you know, no, I'm really um, grateful and feel very blessed that my parents are, you know, equally, you know, very passionate about mm -hmm. giving back and all about sustainability. You know, my mom, when she was young, her her mom, my grandmother, they planted an organic garden together and she's, mm. you know, they've always been, you know, environmental stewards. And so I had those same experiences growing up. And it's then my the dad, blood. and my dad, when he was a teenager, he's creating solar energy is. projects. Oh, wow, you know, okay. Getting, uh, for science fairs and getting awards from NASA for them. So, so you know, it, it made sense that I would then have yeah. that passion and so, run with it. Maya, quickly, because we're almost out of time, you know, there's so many climate events going on here in New York City this week. You're taking part. What is your view on your generation, you know, identifying as the last one that can really create change? Yes, I mean, Generation Z is so outspoken because we do have this, um, this feeling. Um, I'm really passionate about intergenerational collaboration. I think everyone has something amazing to bring to the table in this fight. We just, I was just a part of the huge climate march that happened, um, you know, this starting this week, and 75,000 people showed up. Um, and I think that we're, you know, on the, on the cusp of seeing that this is an issue that affects everyone, yeah. and that everyone's voice matters, and that you belong in this space. That's right, you say your generation is the last one with a real shot to turn things around, and you are leading the way. My opinion, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate thank you. Thank you so much yeah, for having me. We do really me. appreciate it. It's because of work that you're doing for that next generation that your next generation, yeah. which here we go, <laughs> full circle. It's gonna <laughs> have a, a big, beautiful world to live in. Yeah. Thank you, Maya, then, for thank all that you're doing. You. <laughs> all right.